We go back to that point of the fundamental obstacle here is the fact that he wasn't up front with his colleagues and Karen Andrews, among others, not happy about it. Well, Scott Morrison had an answer for everything in this interview with Ben Fordham this morning, except why he didn't tell us or his colleagues. On swearing himself into resources, as well as Keith Pitt, he confirmed it was about blocking the PEP 11 gas project, slated near some marginal seats that the government ended up losing anyway. How could he not do it, he protested. This was a very important issue. It was one uh, that uh, I sought to make the decision, be the decision maker on that issue because of its importance. This was a power a minister has that is not overseen by cabinet. Yeah, well, you so, didn't want it to go ahead. So why didn't you say well, to the, the minister, hey, listen, I'm the prime minister. This ain't happening. Because that's not how the law works. The minister makes their own decision um, and the, the prime minister can't direct the minister to make a decision on those. And if I wished to be the decision maker, then I had to take the steps that I took. You know, if I hadn't personally considered that, uh, that issue, uh, then how could I look the people of Newcastle and the Central Coast and the Northern Beaches in the eye and say I'd done everything I could to properly consider that issue? And this is why Scott Morrison said he did not have to tell his own cabinet about his secret appointments. Well, all ministers know that their direct powers that they have are matters between the Prime Minister and them, not the cabinet. But They're in the case of Matthias Cormann, he was the minister. He didn't know about it. He found out about it yeah, last weekend. Then. That, was, that, that was an error and that was an oversight. And I've apologised to Matthias for that. I mean, when, none of us are perfect then. All right, none of us are perfect. Now, in the last hour, Scott Morrison's put up this Facebook post and he said here, as an added administrative precaution, as a belts and braces approach, the departments of Treasury and Home Affairs were added sometime after in May 2021. And he's saying 14 months after health and finance were put in the pandemic in March 2020. Then, at a mission from him, he says, in hindsight... These arrangements were unnecessary and until seeking advice from the Department of Prime Minister and Cabinet today, presumably after that Fordham interview, maybe even after the Albanese press conference, I had not recollected these arrangements having been put in place. There was a lot going on at the time. Well, who can remember swearing themselves in as a Minister, Kieran? Yeah, it's, it is an extraordinary situation. So this morning, didn't recollect it. To this afternoon the full justification as to why the moves were necessary and what a uh, scenario for Peter Dutton to try and have to navigate. One of his colleagues saying that Scott Morrison, the former PM, should be leaving the parliament. I don't think she'd be on her own with that view, but he's got to try and bat on as best he can. Well, this certainly gives Peter Dutton a few headaches. I mean, Karen Andrews is close to Stuart Robert, who is close to Scott Morrison. So an interesting intervention from her. But she says she and Australians were betrayed over this. The best the opposition leader could do at a press conference a short time ago in Tasmania was say Australians are more worried about cost of living than this and leave it to the inquiries that have been instituted by the PM. I think, frankly, it's, uh, it's time for uh, cooler heads to prevail. The Prime Minister's come out of uh, uh, his holiday swinging and let's wait for the Prime Minister's process and... At the time that uh, he's concentrating on this, he's not explaining to the Australian public how it is that they're going to be able to pay their bills. Well, despite being peppered by questions, Dutton held firm on this line. Karen Andrews has just called for Scott Morrison to resign from Parliament. Do you agree with her? Well, a, a couple of points in relation to this issue. Scott Morrison to resign are coming from within your own party. Are you still comfortable well, with I, him I, being in the party well, room? Well, I've dealt with that issue. Do you at all expect there'll be a by-election for Cook and would it be best for Scott Morrison to now move on? Well, again, I've dealt with that issue. So if there are any other issues about uh, Tasmania... Or about... We heard Scott Morrison say on 2GB this morning that he doesn't recall being sworn into any other portfolios. Is that a lie to the Australian public? No, and as, as I said, uh, the Prime Minister has... Uh, sought legal advice. There's been a lack of transparency here. Well, I, I just think the Prime Minister's now set up a process. Would you do the same thing? Well, I'm the opposition leader, right? And the joy of being the opposition leader is that I'm not in government. Are you aware of any of these new appointments that have been outlined by the Prime Minister no, this no, morning? No, do you know if anyone else in the party was aware of it aside from... No, Greg I, no I wasn't. And no, I don't. Was Josh right, Frydenberg thank aware? You. Thank you very much.